Hi, babe. <laughs> well, it's pretty early. I want to beat the sun and uh, get some work done on the dinghy. Uh, we have this rare spot where I can pull the dinghy up pretty easily onto shore and change the oil on the gear drive. I've already done the motor, which I can do in the water. The gear drive that has to be out. And I got all my tools. Well, what little tools I need, I got them with me. And uh, yeah, one of the you know number of jobs we got to take care of when we can, and this is where we can. So today, that's first up. Well, this is a pretty nice spot. I got my perfect shade tree. I've got my CarQuest uh, jack stands and my parking brakes installed. So perfect setup to do this really. So first thing is the, the oil change, I guess. Well, not, not super. <laughs> Not a great outlook here. Um, we have teeny metal pieces in the oil. I can see them. They're tiny little reflections and uh, it's hard to pick up with the camera, but they're there for sure. And so that means that we have something going on with the gears, which I actually thought I heard something happening with this motor over the last month or two months, maybe, you know, just something not quite right. Maybe a looseness in the gears and that would explain the metal chunks. So I'm not really sure. I'm going to go ahead with the oil change and do some other work on this thing. And then I'm gonna tackle this another day because I don't know. I know I know I'm gonna have to drop the whole lower unit, and inspect the gears. So I'm gonna go back to the boat and kind of look on YouTube and find out what the procedure is for that, and go through the the manual on this because there's a workshop manual that I can look up and uh, try and figure out what's going on and how I would get parts because um, we cannot have this thing break down. It'd be like, whew, that would be tough. That'd be yeah. Got to keep it in good shape. So. While the oil finish is draining, I'll take off these side pieces and look into a couple other things I wanted to check out while I'm here on dry land and take care of this and button it up and get back to the boat. All right, well, it's captain's hour, and one of our favorite drinks is Moscow Mule. This one's gonna be great because... Well, I attempted to make some ginger beer, and we're gonna try it tonight. So homemade ginger beer, because yeah. it's hard to find and kind of expensive, expensive here. So, man, if this works, you're my hero. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's supposed to be ginger beer. I'm gonna have to try that one again. I don't know what happened. Maybe we'll have rum and cokes or something else tonight. <laughs> I did it. Or I did all the recipe instructions as follows. That was rough. That was could be too much ginger. No. Not the right yeast. I don't know. Ah. Stop. I'm sure attempt two will be better. I won't hold it against you, honey. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Fantastic. Yeah. And it's a great morning. So calm. It's Calmest so we've seen. Calm. Yeah. Not exactly the wind that we're looking for to get out of here, but I'll certainly nice it. to just hang out. Yeah. Best ever. 
got a wind window. It's not the best outlook for us, but we figured we needed to jump on this and take the opportunity. Now, we need to start making our trip back up to the Marquesas. Normally, people this time of the year would already be, say, in Fiji or New Zealand during cyclone season, but we decided to stick around to French Polynesia. Obviously, you guys can tell that by all of our videos. We absolutely love it here. And we have some friends that are crossing the Pacific this season, and so we'd love to rejoin them and kind of do the loop all over again. And that's what we're gonna do. So we have about a thousand miles to go to get ourselves back up to the Marquesas. And we're gonna jump to little islands along the way throughout the Tuamotos, and then kind of loop back around and do it all over again. So that's our plan. Um, this little wind window that we have, again, is not the best. It's sort of shifting from the north. We're not quite into the trade season yet with the winds coming from the east, but it's the best that we can take over the last couple weeks. That's what we've noticed. So we're gonna head back towards Tahiti, um, actually take advantage of that and reprovision up big time since we will basically be in the islands of the Tuamotos and the Marquesas and for the next six months, actually. Um, so yeah, we're going to take that, um, I'm going to get some meal prep going, Warren's going to go up the mast because, this really sucks, our brand new halyard is fraying again, so he needs to go up and check on what's going on with that, which is entirely too frustrating, um, but yeah, we're going to do a little bit of maintenance here and there for the day, and then we plan on lifting anchor this evening and sailing into the night, so yeah, that's the plan. I can't not cry with what I cut onions. So this actually is foolproof. Uh, I got it. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right, before I go up the mast, <laughs> I gotta mention something that just is crazy. This guy right here, some of you probably know where this is going. I use a Dyneema soft shackle to go up the, to go up the mast, to go hook onto my bosun chair. This drives everybody nuts. In fact, this gets more comments than anything else on our channel. More, more, than, more than Erica's bathing suits, more than any of the beautiful stuff we show or do, this thing, drives people nuts and I get it you guys thank you very much because I know it comes from a place of love but just rest assured this has a breaking strength of it's in the tens of thousands of pounds okay it's used by uh, search and rescue people rescue and recovery um, jeepers climbers okay well trusted in the sailing industry sure there's other ways to do it we could have a locking carabiner you know that's fine too but this has this is fine okay I'm perfectly comfortable and knowledgeable. I have a background in rock climbing, mountaineering. When I was building homes, we had to do PPE and fall protection. So I know what I'm doing. I got this covered. I thank you guys very much, but uh, I feel very comfortable with, with my setup and I, uh, I am, I'm still remaining very safe. So thank you guys and it's all good, okay? All right, baby, let's go. Actually, I made that public so service announcement about using that soft shackle, and then I remembered I'm using a different line to go up so I can just tip tie a figure eight, so that was a moot point. <laughs>
oh well, I don't know. The high year isn't that bad and I knew it wasn't going to be terrible, but I really just wanted to check and see if there was something maybe I was missing, you know, since it just seems to be doing it again, even though I really smoothed out the edges. Woo! Oh, the sail moved. Ah, uh, yeah, so I don't know. I think we just do what we usually do and just keep an eye on it, keep watching it. Oh, wow. All right, love, I'll come down. Jeez, it's beautiful up here. Holy crap, holy. Touchdown! Oh, success. Woo. Okay, thanks, hon. She usually stops about a foot or two above the deck and just bounces me and lets me just hang there. <laughs> Guess she's not in a playful mood today. Too much to do. Whoa! Just kidding. Come on. <laughs> Shall we do this? Let's do it. Yeah. It's nine o'clock and it's time to go. Normally people, when they're doing this hop, it's about 80 miles, would leave at night, do a night crossing so that they arrive in an anchorage during the day. And it just so happens to coordinate perfectly for us right now with the best weather window that we've got. So yeah. we're gonna do it, we're gonna go. So we're like the normal people. <laughs> for <laughs> once. <laughs> It yeah. is crazy, and not all of the markers are lit up, so... No, only about half of them. <laughs> yeah, anyways, we navigated our way through. We're not out yet, but we're nearly there. But we got the mainsail up, it's helping yeah. us a little bit, and then uh, we'll get the jib out right when we get out, so and we'll far, just sail. Yeah, stars are looking bright. So we have 13 knots of wind, which is this ideal. Is yeah, it's very nice. Woo, we're, we're going places! <laughs> yeah, we are. Do we even know where we're going Not yet? really, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. We'll make that decision at sunrise. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, baby. Thank you. Good morning. We had a really mellow night as forecast and we got um, less far than I had hoped, um, which is fine. The only thing I'm worried about is that the wind is forecast to completely die out starting tonight. It's supposed to really drop out. So we don't have much forecast to begin with. Um, and we chose this window because of the wind direction. Um, we are heading almost due east and that's typically where the wind comes from, almost due east. That's what they call it, an easterly. Blows out of the east. Over the last 
18 hours it was supposed to come way more out of the north which would be ideal for us to sail back to Tahiti, Marea, use that as a launching off point to go to the Tuamotos. But now the wind is somewhat in the right direction, but quite light. And if it goes like this and continues like this, um, we're not gonna get to Tahiti before the wind completely drops out tonight. So that's just the way it goes. So we are really, now that we don't have guests coming in or anything pressing us, we might be out here for a little bit, I don't know. We're just gonna have to see how the day unfolds the next 20 hours maybe see how that happens. It may be a while. I've lived most of my entire life in close to full speed at just about the entire time. So patience has been a real hard pill to swallow for me especially and it's taken literally years to shake the erroneous thought that we should be going faster or the wind should be blowing harder. That's foolish and I've been the king of fools in that regard because it simply does not work like that and there are many many things we simply cannot control despite what should be happening in our silly opinions. I'm gonna have to review the footage and see what I said to jinx us because we have lost all of our wind and we're just sitting in the water bobbing and making noise. <laughs> this could be in this could end up being a pretty frustrating uh, couple days I don't know we have a full tank of diesel and we are so motivated to keep it that way and just sail you know that's just what we want to do we don't want a motor you can call it being cheap or whatever but it's just the way we wanted to live this life we wanted to be as sustainable as possible with as small a carbon footprint as possible and just sail um, unless we had to motor and right now we don't have to motor so it could take I don't know <laughs> a while at this rate so we learn to sit back and accept that this is just mother nature doing her thing and that's just the way it is and that's just fine but there has been a shift in me albeit slowly but a deep change nonetheless and honestly life has improved dramatically since this shift in my attitude and the way of thinking and I suppose that, even without knowing it in the beginning, that's part of the reason why I'm out here, and a large part of why I wanted this experience in my life. Well, it didn't take long. We got about an hour it took for the wind to come back. We got 15 knots, doing four and a half, five knots, so we're back at it, but the wind direction is 100% out of the east, so it has not started to clock around out of the north yet, so we are headed pretty much due south. Uh -huh. Not the direction. We need to go pretty much due east. So we'll see. And I pulled the weather again and it looks like it is supposed to drop off. All the models agree that the wind should be dropping off by tonight or tomorrow morning. Early tomorrow morning. So, And we have one day to get as far as we can. So it's a real fight. And then it might be several days of pretty poor winds. How are we going? We're good. The winds have shifted on us with this little blow. That's good. Your hand steering? Yeah. You need a jacket or anything? Now I'm having my morning shower. A free one, it looks like. <laughs> Just on this side. <laughs> She must be good luck because ever since Erica got up it has been really really ideal conditions super nice and in the right direction too
Well, this is one of the rare times that I actually can do any work on this thing. So I'm bored, really. I know. And I just take care of a little bit of a few things. That actually is very nice. Yeah, look at that now. Woo! -hoo! I was so much like better. On this ring. So, so, so much better. And now this is going to be better. Wow, things have been looking up, honey. You did really good. <laughs> Maybe you ought to just stay up. I know. I think Maybe you ought to know, just be reacts stuck. to me a little bit better. I think so. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful. We have been gifted a very beautiful day. Beautiful sailing. Good conditions. Right direction. I know. I love it. Wow. I'm bored, but you keep it up up here. Down! Stop, please. <laughs> Why won't you stop? Careful. This usually works. Careful! What? <laughs> Why? Why well, you made me look so dumb? <laughs> I always get so nervous when he does that. He catches it. Whew, I usually close my eyes. Just hope. <laughs> ah, it's working. Yeah. Good, good job, babe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bolognese. That you made last night, yesterday. Yeah. Which is such a lifesaver. Oh, not that like. So good. Right now the seas are not terrible, but I just they make me sleepy. <laughs> yeah. I don't really want to do much. No. Dinner time, baby. Well, it's my watch now, and I just took over for Warren, and um, it's been pretty incredible all night. We're going into our second night. 
We started off a little slower uh, yesterday when we left, but we've had pretty consistent winds. It was predicted to kind of die off, and uh, it's gotten us all the way to basically the south side of Morea, which is really nice. It's so clear out. The seas have been really, really smooth, and it's just been so lucky that we were able to catch this short window of wind to get us back in this direction in order for us to get a better angle to head up to the two motos. Um, yeah, I can't complain. The moon's about halfway full and yet it's still very, very bright. I wish I could kind of capture all this on camera for you, but you'll just have to do with my description, which isn't all that great. I'll do better next time. Well, we almost made it. Sail's down, wind's gone. That's fine. We're back in Morea, love it. But as soon as we got close to the islands, the wind just started to tank and tank and tank until it completely dropped out because we're in the lee of the two big islands. So that's fine, we'll motor the last few miles because I am, I'm stoked. We did so, we got so lucky. Thank you, Elios, the god of wind, man. Had our back. We did so well, way better than I was afraid we might get kind of stuck out there or have to do a bunch of tacking. But the winds clocked around out of the north as we had hoped they would, and they were actually a little stronger than we'd hoped, which was great. And uh, it helped get us down and back to Morea in Tahiti. And now from here, we can sit here until the wind comes back and hopefully out of the south a little bit because now we have to move a little north to get to Tahiti. But this was a big chunk. This was a uh, hundred plus miles, you know, in an 800 mile journey back to the Marquesas. So this is one of several big hops that we have to make. And this one worked out well. Let's hope the rest of them follow suit. Beautiful though, beautiful sunrise. Look at this. Warren already told you we were so close we almost made it all the way and we had to turn on the motors otherwise we would have been just flat dead in the water drifting back where we came from but we've made it it's a beautiful day regardless of motoring or not I know it kills Warren to turn that motor on but it's we did a really good job we sailed the majority of the way when most people probably wouldn't in certain situations like that Beautiful.
Oh, come here. We have to check on the anchor, and we want to. This whew, water is just so tempting. Okay, let's get in, babe. Nice passage. It's well before noon, so we have some standards. We're not gonna have a beer just yet, but we're gonna have a passage plunge. <laughs> wow. Imagine how how's that? Felt good. Oh, this feels amazing. Now where's the camera? <sighs> yes!